Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be doing an intro on click detectors. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can do with this. So basically what a click detector is, you can place this on a part, and then you can use this in a script to change different properties of the part. So for this first example, if I click on the part, it changes to a random color. And every time I click, it chooses a new color. So for the second one, if I click on it, it turns on and off a light. And for the third one, if I click on it, it gets taller. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in and get started. So the setup for this project is pretty easy. The first thing you're going to do is insert a part into the game. After you do that, go ahead and find it in the Explorer menu. Click on the plus sign and start typing click detector. Once it appears, go ahead and click on it. After that, press the plus sign again and add a script. And that's all you have to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the scripts for each of these three blocks. And I'll go over how the script works. So the first one, that was the color change one. So let's go ahead and take a look at that first. So in my script here, the first thing I have is a variable for the part itself. The second part I have is a variable for the click detector. Next, I have a function that will be changing the brick color. For this part, I'm going to be changing its brick color. And I'm going to be doing that by setting its brick color equal to a random brick color. So by adding this random at the end of the brick color, it'll choose a random brick color from the available colors. After that, down at the bottom, I'm saying click, which is my click detector that I defined up here, dot mouse click. So this is triggered whenever the mouse is clicked. And then I'm connecting the function color, which I defined right up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next one now. So the next one was the one that turns on and off a light. So let's go ahead and take a look at that script. Okay, up here the first two lines are the exact same from the other one. I'm creating a variable for the part and a variable for the click detector. This one is different, so I'm creating a variable that's either going to be true or false. And what I'm doing with this is I'm keeping track of whether the part was clicked or not clicked. And that's how I'm going to be turning the light on or off. Okay, so my function is a little bit more involved, but let's just go ahead and go through it step by step. Okay, so let's take a look at the first statement here. So we're saying if not clicked. So basically when I start the game, the part hasn't been clicked yet. So this part will run. And what it's doing once I click on it for the first time, it's creating a variable called light, which I'm storing a new point light. And this is how we do lights in Roblox Studio. What I'm doing next is defining its parent. So I'm going to be placing this point light inside of the part. And after that, I'm setting its brightness to 25. And that can be adjusted to either a bigger or smaller number, depending on how bright you want it. And then I'm saying clicked is equal to true. So after I click on it, I want to set this variable equal to true so that I don't run this again, but instead I run the else statement. So like I was just saying, if it's been clicked already, then it's going to go through this else statement down here. And it's going to destroy that point light, basically to remove the light. And then I'm setting clicked back to false. So by doing this, when it runs through this function, it'll go through here. After that, down the bottom is I'm just connecting this click event with the function. So I'm just saying click dot mouse click and then connecting the function, which is light up here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the last one. So let's go ahead and take a look at that script. Okay, for this one, like before, the first two lines are exactly the same. This one, what I'm doing is I'm changing its size, and I'm doing that by setting it equal to a new vector. This part right here, what I'm basically saying here is whatever its current size for the x value is, go ahead and keep it. So from the part, look at the size and the x dimension, and just keep that whatever it is. And same for the Z part, whatever the Z dimension is, is going and keep it the same. The part I'm changing is the Y dimension, which controls how tall or how short it is. And what I'm doing is I'm saying get whatever its current Y dimension is and add one to it. So every time I click on this part, it's going to take its current Y dimension and add one to it. After that, just like I have in the other ones, it looks like I forgot to change this, but the function name doesn't really matter. Let's just go ahead and make this grow. And we'll put grow here. 
so what this last line is doing, it's connecting that click detector to the function. So whenever the part is clicked, it's going to run the function that you defined. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our code and take a look at these one more time. Okay, the first one, if I click on it, I can change its color. The second one, I can turn on and off a light. And the third one, if I click on it, it gets taller. Okay, this is going to be the end of this video. We'll do more with click detection in the future. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.